Hello and welcome in Teach Max videos. Let us solve one more example on design of gusseted base. Okay, so already in previous lecture, I have explained what is uh, the type of bases, right? Column bases. So there are three, right? Gusseted base, uh, sorry, slab base, gusseted base. Actually, there are two. The third one is actually movement resisting base actually we design it as a slab base or gusseted base any one out of these two okay so for actual compression as well as a column which is subjected to both uniaxial bending or biaxial bonding we can provide the column basis by using slab base or gusseted base okay so here I'm going to solve one more example on gusseted base which is subjected to actual compression in previous lecture also I have solved one so let us learn once again the design of gusseted base okay so here the given data ishb 350 at 67.4 kg per meter with cover plates 450 by 22 mm are used as a column okay so this section and its cover plate provided on both flanges are used as a column okay it used to carry 3000 kilo newton factored axial compression so column is subjected to axial compression m20 grade of concrete okay so m20 grade of concrete is given which is used for the pedestal right so this is the given data for which we are going to design gusseted base so question is asked to design gusseted base so this type of example might be asked for 10 marks in exam okay so <clears throat> how to solve this so already I have solved one where only column uh, whose one section actually there is no cover plate provided there so we solve that okay which is subjected to actual compression here I am considering another variety that column if having cover plates with I section so then how to design this gusseted base okay so design is almost similar all procedure are same only when you calculate the length of gusseted base there we need to add the thickness of the cover plates that's it okay so let us see this okay very simple very interested okay so within 10 minutes you will get 10 marks so go through it properly okay listen carefully okay so let us go with the first step so very first of all of course we will find out yes design uh, <coughs> bearing strength of concrete right so bearing strength of concrete first of all we calculate right so bearing strength of concrete pedestal we first know then and then only we can solve this so here we know it is this value is point 45 fck actually maximum value as per the code it is 0.6 fck but we revise it we reduce the value to because ultimate value is 0.6 fck we are not always provide ultimate bearing strength of the concrete right so because we know <coughs> yes compression uh, the concrete is very very high in compression but it is weak in tension but here mainly this is compressive bearing strength of the concrete so we assume only 45 percent of fck characteristic compressive strength so 0.45 into fck it is 20 right so definitely you will get 9 newton per mm square so this is bearing strength of the concrete after this we can go with the second step yes selection of size of the base plate so size of the base plate we have to decide so same procedure like slab base no change up to this okay so size of the base plate area required is equal to p upon bearing strength of the concrete yes St area is equal to force upon stress that's it okay because we know the compression is acting over the column right which is transferred into the slab base right so slab base means sorry uh, into the yes into the base plate okay so here the base plate is subjected to axial compression so we need to design it right so base plate <coughs> when any member subjected to actual compression uh, a actual forces we know that we can use this formula of area is equal to force upon stress or stress develop in that member is equal to force upon area right so just put the value p factored actual compression it is directly given so 3000 into 10 raised to 3 
it will be in Newton okay divided by 9 so this gives the area required so put the value in calculator and find out this so very simple examples are asked for 10 marks so that you can solve it okay so this is required area and it is 333.33 into 10 raised to 3 so 333.33 into 10 raised to 3 mm square okay so this required area is in mm square now we have to decide the length of the base plate right so first of all select gusset angle okay so gusset plate of thickness see we are going to design gusseted base so this is the change compare with slab base okay in slab base you, you have to just assume gusset angle okay in case of bolted slab base in gusseted slab base there uh, sorry in welded slab base there is no need to assume gusset angle you can directly go with the yes you can go with the uh, <coughs> directly you can select the length and find out the width okay but here yes we are going to design gusseted base so you have to assume gusset plate thickness because gusset plates are used to transfer the load so it is assumed that the 50 percent load transfer via connection through gusset and 50 percent load is transferred through base plate in the gusseted base okay so that's why 